Hi Beth fans, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this delicious grilled catfish. Trust me, when I say this fish is delicious, I don't even mean it as a joke. Oh my goodness, like every part of the fish was so juicy, very tasty, very yummy. See, let's not even beat around the bush. You need to watch this video from the beginning till the end, just so that when you have visitors and you serve them this, they're just going to keep wondering where you learnt it. You're not going to tell them it's from me, so let's just jump right into it, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> this particular catfish I'm about to grill was greatly inspired by Chinere Abang. Of course, you guys will be asking me now, who is Chinere Abang? She used to be formerly known as Yummy Mommy Life, but we need to respect her wishes. She now wants us to refer to her as her real name, Chinere Abang. So yes, I watched the catfish grilling on her channel, and I decided that I was going to try that out. And let me just tell you guys, the only difference is this, okay? This Onga seasoning. This is not a sponsored ad, by the way. I'm just telling you guys. This was what she recommended, you know, the Onga stew, and I decided to get it. I'm going to try it out. You know what? Let me just show you guys everything we're making, you know, the preparations and all of that before we start cooking proper because this might just be the only time you get to see me, okay? In here, I have my catfish. It's been washed. I can still see particles of blood, so I might as well just rinse it again. But I got this at the fish market this morning. I got them for 800 naira each. You know, so I told the lady to help me put these incisions so that when I come back, I'll just get right to washing and, you know, preparing the fish. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Now, to garnish my catfish, this is actually what I'll be using. This is slightly different from what Chinere did. I'm going to tell you guys about it, yeah? So, she actually showed us this very delicious peppered sauce that went along with the fish. But because we're eating the fish with rice and other things, I decided that I wasn't going to stress with the whole peppered sauce. But I wanted to actually try out this onga, this one. Because I'm not going to be adding any other seasoning cubes apart from this bouillon powder here, okay? But for my own rub, the one I'm going to be applying on the fish, I have my yellow pepper. This is actually half. I don't want to use full one. And then here I have two scotch bonnets, which is also known as atarodo. In here I have chili pepper. I was supposed to get shombo. I don't know if it's a shombo or not. But yeah, this is what I got. And I'm using just three of it. Here I have my spring onions. This is very important to me whenever I'm grilling fish because this has a lot of aroma and it just takes the taste of the fish to another level. Trust me guys, it's not enough to just use bulbs of onions. You have to actually get spring onions, okay? So I have just one small bulb here that I already cut into quarters and then I have my suya pepper. I got this one of the times I traveled. I actually got this at Ore. You know, I got a lot of it and I put it here. It's been in my fridge ever since. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then here I have some more pepper because I want this fish to be really peppery. You know, I'm not going to put all of this actually, but you know, Chinere showed us this as well. This one and this one mixed together. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is your regular grounded pepper you buy in the market, okay? So you can just ask them for ground pepper. And I got this for 15 naira. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get to it. So guys, I'm about to blend all of this up and I'm going to be doing that with the help of some vegetable oil. We're not adding any water at all. We want to get rid of as much water as we can. So I'm just going to pour all of this into our new baby here. So let's just get I cannot it. chase you, I cannot fly, I cannot make you, you make up your mind. You want me to prove it to you, to see what I lose. If I cannot find you up in the dust If I stand here waiting what you think I must Stay here for days Losing my ways I'ma go home, I'ma type up my thoughts Print it out, cut it, don't slip Dancing in your socks When you read it, let me know if I'm enough I keep on spitting facts when you know that I don't love my fish dry with some kitchen paper towel and then here is the 
the rub we made, the peppers and everything we blended. And then in here I have my onga seasoning, I have my soya pepper, I have the grounded pepper and a little bit of salt. I'm going to mix everything up now so that we can marinate it with the fish and of course we'll be grilling in a paper foil. So let's just get into it. before we put it into our preheated oven, okay? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay Cause I gotta like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake and I couldn't tell at the time, but I was my own soulmate. It's like I forgot I was fine, let you treat me any kind of way. Guys, so this is the finished product. Well, semi finished because your girl don't chop half of our fish. But let me tell you, this is divine, okay? This is absolutely delicious. The Onga Stew seasoning made a lot of difference and I'm telling you, you need to try this out. Like, thank you so much, Chinyere. This is so nice. This is actually very, very delicious. Of course, we have our rice and stew here and I'm still eating pala fish, yes, and a glass of drink. And no, this is not Pepsi because I know someone will attack me. So yes, thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. If you have any other recipes you would like me to share with you, do let me know in the comment section and I'll be really glad to show you guys, okay? I need to just go back to eating. I don't already the chop before I know I never do outro. So yeah, we're going to see for the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>